just a quick one. Uh, not happy about the sacking situation. Having to put Liverpool down in the contract. At least to sign a deal. Liverpool's got to be one of the teams that gets first dibs on him if he's not happy at Arsenal. Well, that means we have to look at different options and luckily there are other options out there. Now the first one, two teams are interested in them. Manchester United. But they're ifing and ahhing on whether they want him. Why? I don't know. Because this lad is better probably than any winger they've got at the moment. Sancho hasn't found his feet. This lad has. He's called Rafinha. Plays for Leeds. If Leeds United get relegated today, his release clause will come into uh, play. If they're relegated, twenty-five million pounds. It's a snip. Barca are interested. Now you would think Rafinha. He might fancy London, bit of Arsenal, or he might fancy Barcelona. He'd probably go for the Barcelona, but you never know. You never know. But I think we should do everything we can to get Rafinha at Arsenal to take the load off a campaign that's we're going to be in four comps. Premier League, Carabao Cup, FA Cup, hopefully a run this time. Try and make it 15 cups. As we are the record cup holders. And win that European trophy we're involved in. Yet to be decided yet. Will it be the Europa League? Which is looking like. And to be honest, Tottenham or Arsenal, with or without signs, I don't, I don't think we're either ready for the Champions League. And like I say Conte's record is abysmal for his domestic achievements compared to his European. Not good. One more lad that Arsenal are very interested in that might stop the Rafinha interest oh it really is picking up heat out here so I was just doing a little bit of research so I've lost my way so basically we're getting at Rafinha 25 mil of Leeds relegated today United are interested Barca you'd expect the Barcelona to be favourites but any chance Arsenal could sign Rafinha for 25 million to give Saka a rest to rotate get it done and one more thing um, now this rumour just does not seem to be going away and it's not good for Liverpool Sadio Mane Looks like he wants out of Liverpool. I think if they win the Champions League, he'll leave. Maybe Klopp. I don't even think Klopp. I don't. I don't think do a Klopp. I just think he wants a new challenge. Maybe. A few league winners medals as well. I just think maybe he always he's always going to think City is just going to get in his way when he'll probably leave next summer, this summer, and Liverpool win the league next next year. So things work in mysterious ways, but what it will free up is Serge Gnabry. They're talking around the 60 million mark. Now, maybe... You just can't sign everyone. 
But it would be nice to have Martinelli, Smith Rowe on that rock, uh, left hand side cutting in. But it'd be nice to have Gnabry cutting in. 60 million. He's not happy with contract negotiations. Things aren't going well. We know how much admiration and love for, he has for the club. He's often been seen in old Arsenal shirts, especially during lockdown. You've seen, we've, most of us have seen the videos. Um, come home, Serge. And I know Mikel Arteta is an admirer. Um, maybe that would put the victor. I think Osman is so overpriced. I mean, you could almost buy two Serge Gnabrys for what Osman. It's ridiculous. Get Jesus in. Get Gnabry around him. Get Saka around him. Maybe some Rafinha. Maybe a few others, and we'll be in business. Maybe by that big Norwegian lad I'm talking about in my previous videos. Been a busy day of videos. A lot of transfer talk around Arsenal. The summer ain't even started yet. Well, it feels like it in the heat today. Very, very warm. Nice in the shade, but warm in the sun. It's going to be hot in them stadiums today. And so the sun gets in Hugo Lloris's eyes a few times. <laughs> Jokes. Not. Anyway. Come on the Arsenal. And come on the Spuds. Let's have some Spursy today for me. I don't think we're going to get it. But you never know as Tottenham. If anyone could fuck this top four race up, it's Tottenham. I'll see you later. But I'm not expecting that.